What's up, what's going on guys, Geeks on the View, and today we're going to be reviewing, this is a non-spoiler review, of the Superman Red Sun movie, um, I might be a little bit late, but that's because I've only like watched it like a couple of days ago, and I thought, you know, um, I may as well watch it, you know, um, so, before we get into this, I want to give a big shout out to uh, Majoric Wolf and Goofy Woogie, um, two friends of mine that do YouTube, like me, so, I hope you Enjoy this video and let's get into it, really. Right. This movie is different, kind of, in a way. The movie is different the way it's... The tone of Superman is different. Like, the whole thing is different. Because um, this version of Superman is, like... I think this version of Superman, in what I got from it, was um a different version of him it's not the same one you see it's a different version of him and it's not set in present day so that's something to take note of um the there's um i'm not gonna say why but lois annoys me um i like lex luther's character better in particular in this type of thing um obviously if you don't know who red sun superman is it's basically the same backstory but like um uh, pr practically the same backstory but he's russian i think russian i can't remember he's a part of the soviet union anyway this superman is a part of the soviet union and Obviously, so he was practically having a war, like, type thing against the Americans. Like, the Americans was trying to fight him, and he was trying to fight back. And obviously, yeah, <clears throat> that's the basic of the story. You should know that if you watch the trailer, so that's not a spoiler. Um, yeah, um... Those characters, like, Lois, I didn't really... She annoyed me, so... But she was good, obviously, but... She really annoyed me, in a sense, so... That was that. Um, I think that, obviously... They did put, like, a little... Dynamic between... Uh, a few characters. They did good with them. Um, I think that... Um... One thing they didn't explain properly, but they, they didn't actually explain something at all, really, not too much. So, I want, I can't say what it is, it might be obvious, it might not. Um, so that's that. Um, right. Really? This version of Superman is more, is more, he doesn't really stand for hope too much, like the normal Superman, like the normal Superman you see, is literally, his symbol is literally, the, like this S on his chest is literally what his house is, the house of L stands for hope, and the symbol you see on his chest is the Soviet Union sign, I'm pretty sure. And, yeah, he was standing for Russia, I think. He was, um, obviously, like I said, he was going against the Americans. It was just basically that. And, yeah. <coughs> um, and, yeah. So, the thing is, I like the movie, but... There is things that bothered me. I'm not going to say what it is, obviously. But I'd at least give it a 6.5, maybe a 7 out of 10. That's what I'd give it. Um, I'm currently looking forward to uh, Justice League Apocalypse War. Um, I'm looking forward to that a lot. Um, really... This poster of Superman Red Sun kind of sums the basis of everything 
that's happening in the movie practically you can see it's yeah it's basically practically summing up his part of the story um so yeah in general it's a good movie i just think they need to improve a lot of not a lot of stuff but a few key parts a lot of key parts they need to improve on so yeah i hope you enjoyed this video if you want more reviews make sure you leave a like and comment on this video on what you want me to review so for example if you wanted me to re review a movie uh, a tv show episode like the flash supergirl batwoman something like that yeah so go, so go subscribe to this channel which is geeks and love them to my other channel small pixie and that's small p-e-i-x-e and turn post notifications on for both channels and i will see you in the next one